Hey guys and welcome to another Monkey Pixels tutorial. My name is Damon Cooper and today I will show you how you can get perfect skin tones within Final Cut Pro 10 with any camera. And since I have a casserole in the oven, let's not waste any more time and start the intro. One, two, three, listen. So let's jump right into Final Cut and start color grading. So for this tutorial, I'm using a shot of my friend Tatiana that we shot on our most recent model shoot Monday. We shot this on the 1DX Mark III and we shot it in C-Log. So let's apply a color correction first. And we are going to drop down the shadows, raise the highlights, put in a little bit more saturation. After this, we are going to do a little grade and add a custom LUT to it from our Canon LUT pack. And we are choosing Bluebird. Uh, not too much, maybe just around here. Here. And I have a full video about our 30 second color grade workflow that I will link up here so you might as well check this one out too. So looking at the before and after I think it already looks pretty decent but I think the skin tones are just off by a little bit and I feel like they're leaning a little bit towards the yellow and greenish skin tones. But instead of just taking my word for it let's actually get a closer look and go to the top left corner and open our vector scope. So for anyone not familiar with the vector scope this one is actually used used to display the distribution of colors and saturation. So looking at the ungraded image before, we see that there's hardly any color and saturation distribution in our image. But now adding a color correction and our LUT to it, we see that the saturation actually spreads out a lot more. And right here we have our skin tone line. And this one indicates where our skin tones should lie. And as I've already suspected, our skin tones are leaning a little bit towards the yellow and greenish side because they're slightly off scale when it comes to the higher saturations. And now we're going to fix this. And for this, we're going back to our color inspector. And the next step is going to be adding another U and saturation curve. After we have done this, we're going to change the U of our image. And for this, we're going to the U versus U tab and we're going to take our pipette tool and choose somewhat of a middle ground on our skin tones. And as you can see here, this is the portion that we actually filtered out and this is where our skin tones lie. It's pretty orange right now. So by dragging this slider down or up, we can quickly and easily isolate our skin tones and just make minor adjustments to it. And if you're looking at the vector scope, we can see if we drag it down, we're getting way more into the yellow portion of the image. And by dragging it up, we're going more into the red and magenta tones. And here's a little quick tip. If you press the option button while adjusting the slider, you get way smoother adjustments and it's not as harsh as just dragging the slider. So in our case, we were a little bit too much towards the yellow and green tones. So we're going to push it a little bit more into the reds. That's a little bit too much, more like so. And here's another quick tip. Whenever you do minor adjustments like this, look at the before and after throughout the image because sometimes you're really in the zone and you're just pushing around sliders. And then afterwards, after like 10 minutes, if you look at the before and after, it looks completely overdone. So always keep yourself in check and do a quick check within your color grade. So looking at the before and after now, we didn't really change too much, but we changed the skin tones and we went from a little bit of a yellow tint and actually smoothed out our image and went for a really nice looking rich colored skin tone. And there you have it, quick and easy. And this is how you can actually get perfect skin tones within Final Cut Pro 10 with any camera. I hope you liked this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more and I hope to see you on the next one.